Hey guys, this is Chris from Frost Chica. And this past weekend, I made a lot of like whipped butters just to show my customers that you can achieve like great colors and different interesting colors just with like oils and butters. Uh, this one has uh, clay, purple clay. This one is a, and also the quartz. So that's a scrubbing whipped butter. Actually, I was so sunburned because I do things that I tell you guys not to do. And then I had time to do this. So uh, this one is with Burichi. No, I'm sorry. This one is with Kaiwe. That's a Jean. This one is with Burichi. This one is with uh, Dragon's Blood. See the Dragon's Blood looking like dragon, like, like blood here. This one is as Acai. This one is Pequi. Prakashi and Anjiroba. And this one is just like my scrubbing one. So I'm here giving you guys some ideas for summer. Anyways, you know that like any everyone who makes like you know whipped butters have a problem like shipping for summertime. Um, what I recommend is some butters can be fun and can still be used if they are not whipped, just poured. Okay, or if you whip, you can increase the melting point of that like the mix because let's put things this way all these butters not this one but all these butters it's uh two parts kupuasu two parts tucuman butter and one part oil okay so let's say that one is like two ounce of kupuasu two ounce of tucuman and one part oil so Kupuasu and Tucuman have a melting point that's up here, meaning it needs to be really hot for them to melt. But when you put an oil, that melting point goes down, meaning it doesn't need to be that hot for it to melt, right? And then when you whip, you bring water, like air into the mix, which makes them like look more solid, but also when they melt, they melt like not as beautifully as if you just like pour. So your goal for summertime is increase that melting point, meaning it needs to be really hot for it to melt. How can you do it? You can put, add like really hard, let me show you something. Uh, you can use really hard uh, butters like uh, ukuba and uh, cocoa butter, okay? You can also put a little bit of like either beeswax or like, you know, like a vegan wax, like candelilla wax. That is if you want to change your recipe for summertime. Uh, and you see a lot of people like they just stop like, you know, like shipping for summertime and summer skin knits. Look at like, look at these beauties. So my place is not that like uh, cold, like my house is like, I keep it like kind of warm. And these are pretty like, pretty fine not pretty solid but like I said let's see this one here oh such a delicious 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 but like I said once you ship it that's the problem so guys you need to increase the melting point of a product how to increase the melting point of a product increasing uh, using harder butters or less oil but for example, if I use less oil, then uh, all the properties of the acai oil or the kaiwa oil, or so all these properties are not that present because you're decreasing the the amount of oil. So I want to like get some oil in that butter, in that whipped butter, because the oils in this case here, the oils are the ones that bring the property to the butter, you know, like, I mean, Tucuman butter and Kupasu are alone beautiful and, you know, important to use. But I wanted this one to have like uh, the Burichi, like lots of beta carotene. This one to be for hair. This one to be like an aging well product. Uh, this one is just like, I mean, I love it. It's refreshing, it makes your skin, is like very healing. So in order to have bring that oil property into the butter, you need some, uh, some certain amount of oil. So what I'll do, if like, for example, instead of two parts of kupasu, two parts of like murumuru and one part of like oil, I would add some cocoa butter in there to make it harder and easier to ship. 
then yes and like most people's homes like are kept pretty like you know like a little bit warmer like for summertime i think but uh that's just something for you guys to think about you know like don't go around like change your recipes because of like what i'm saying what i'm saying is like for shipping summertime you either Ha, you spend a lot of money in material in like you know on those like you know like uh, pack those shipping cold things or you just don't whip it you just sell like you know like poured butters or you increase the melting point one thing about pouring a butter when you whip a butter I usually melt like the butters okay and when I start whipping I add the oil if you're not if you're not gonna whip i recommend you heat that oil a little bit a little bit hit the oil with the butters not melt but at the end when the butters are melted you add the oil so it makes better it just doesn't when you pour an oil on top of melted butters it like you know they tend to like solidify so they kind of separate um i'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be putting this in like little envelopes and then I'm gonna like uh, offer as like, you know, like a, like a sample for like my sales. Um, guys, I'm gonna like uh, try, try to do more videos in the future. And oh my gosh, that's so fluffy and delicious. And I hope you guys understand. I'm gonna like explain better in the captions about like a melting point, okay? Thank you for watching.